what's up everybody happy thursday hope all you're having a great day so far today getting into this episode of gh um i am not a fan of this little fake drama that they create for spencer and trina to give them some more obstacles i'm not a fan of it um i find it ridiculous but my thing is i i totally get where spencer was coming from i mean i get that jocelyn was one of esme's victims but I wouldn't have divulged that information to her. Trina needs to realize something. She don't have to tell Jocelyn everything, even if they are best friends. You ain't got to tell her everything because Lord knows Jocelyn don't tell Trina everything. She still hasn't told Trina about the real reason her and Cameron broke up. She don't tell her every little thing. It took her a while to tell her about Dex. You know, Trina had to figure that out on her own. So Trina needs to keep certain things to herself. Um, You know... I'm pretty sure that little situation kind of had Spencer looking at Trina a little bit differently. Like, you know, can I trust you? With, this is why I can't trust you with certain information. And I think that's why he kept part of the reason why he kept that evidence a secret, you know, because um, she just did a lot of this. And I'm like, Trina, stop it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I don't blame Spencer for keeping that evidence. I don't. You never know. You might need it. Even if it is a risk to use it, because of course the cops are going to ask a bunch of questions like, how did you get it? How did it? I mean, Dex was making some sense when he said it, because it's true. They're going to ask you a billion questions. So you got to be ready to have some answers. You know what I'm saying? Or something about how you got it. Because if one little piece of evidence falls out of place and they figure out one little piece is fake, you're going to be brought up on charges, which is true. But um, Spencer's Cassidy, he'll find his way out of that mess. That's what Cassidines do. They find a way out of mess. Um, I was disappointed in Spencer though. After years of Sonny teaching this boy how to fight, how to box and stuff like that, the best he could do for Dex every time is a sucker punch. I'm like, sir, you need to do better at fighting because Spencer got all these little muscles and what good are they? Because <laughs> you got your ass wood. <laughs> and I love Dante and um, Sam's reaction to the whole thing. Like, their reaction was fucking hilarious. Especially after Trina stormed off and stuff. It was hilarious. Um, I agree with, with Dante. Like, at the end of the day, it's like, dude, you got your ass whooped. Like, that shit was funny. Um, he need to learn how to fight better. I'm just saying. And Dex is stupid sitting there talking about something. Oh, the first punch is free. The second one, oh, that's going to cost you. You're going to get hurt. Sir, ain't no punches over here free. I would never let somebody throw the first punch on me. Hell no, I'm going to knock your ass out as soon as I see you clench your hands. You must have lost your little mind. You're not going to sit here and I'm going to duck that punch. Even if you do manage to throw the first punch, you it's not going to land. It's not going to land. Not if, you know, it's not going to happen. Um, But Dex did beat the hell out of that boy. <laughs> Damn. Um, but yeah, I, f I hate this little fake angst between them. I'm like, Trina needs to understand Spencer is Spencer. Do I agree that he could be a little asshole sometimes? Yes, but that's who he is. I mean, Spencer, everybody got multiple sides to them. And sometimes, you know, it's going to be sides that you don't like. And that's why I said Trina need to figure out what she's willing to put up with, with him and what's a deal breaker. Because whatever is a red flag for her or a deal breaker and he's not willing to fix it, then she need to just walk away. And go find somebody else. At the end of the day, Spencer loves her. She loves him. But he's not a goody two-shoes kind of person. He's just not. That's not the way he was raised. That's not what he knows how to do. I mean, yeah, he can do the right thing from time to time. But he's going to be a little mischievous sometimes. He's going to be up to no good sometimes. That's just what it is. And either she can put up with it or she can walk away. That's the option. Um, Her mother need to mind her business. Portia really needs to worry about her marriage and stop butting into stuff because her suggesting that Esme and Spencer take a, a parenting class, I'm like, all of this is a scheme cooked up by Portia to get them closer. That's all this is. It's a huge scheme to get them, you know, to be closer with each other so that way it'll interfere with him and Trina. I'm telling you, Portia is barking up the wrong tree. She need to go ahead and focus on Curtis and, and their situation and stop meddling in her daughter's situation. Um, Esme, listen, Esme need to pop her eyes back in her head because I seen the way she was looking at Spencer when he opened that door and he had no shirt on. I seen the way she was looking at him. I'm like, ma'am, put your eyes back in, pick up your tongue off the floor and go to your bedroom. 
Stay away from that man door. He's spoken for. Yeah, him and Trina might have had a little little issue, a little spat, but he's spoken for. And Trina will knock you the hell out if you get her too mad now. Then go on somewhere. Nope. You already had some of that. You're not getting no more. It's closed. The factory is closed. No more no more hot dogs for you. Not from that, not from that hot dog stand. You better go somewhere else with that nonsense. Um I don't see Spencer falling back in with her though. Not no, not in a sexual or romantic sense, because he 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 know what she's capable of, and he already know what she like. So I don't see him doing that. I don't think he would be that dumb. So I'm not even gonna think about that. Um. So anyway, moving on from that. Listen, I love the chemistry between Mara West and Roger Howard. I'm a big fan of the chemistry. I love the chemistry. Always have. Even when he was Franco, I felt like they had great chemistry. But Austin and Ava becoming a couple? Hell no. Hell to the no. Hell no. Mm -mm. Nope. And the reason I say that is because he just got too many skeletons in his closet. He come with a lot of baggage, a lot of mess. And Ava don't need that right now. She already got enough mess she be dealing with. And furthermore, that little scheme that he cooked up to kidnap her daughter or to make it look like she went missing all in order to get Pilar fired. I ain't like that because my thing is you don't play with nobody's kids. Especially not Ava. You don't play with nobody's children like that. That's that's a scary thing to deal with. Your child going missing, especially in this crazy ass world we live in. That ain't no game to play. I mm, and he gonna sit here and pull her into a kiss. I'm like Ava, slap the shit out of him again for that. Hit him again. Ava need to be smarter than this. Don't get involved, that fool. You know, and he still won't tell her who the boss is. Talking about oh she they not the run of the mill mafia family. Anybody ask you all that? We need a name. I don't care what they're capable of. I don't care how ruthless they are. We need a name, sir. Who are we dealing with here? Um, And my thing is, I'm tired of Ava letting them blackmail her. Like, at the end of the day, Mason has no proof that she did anything to Nicholas. Unless he got a recorder, uh, uh, he recorded it or something. You, he has no proof of a damn thing. He has no proof. And why would the cops or anybody believe him? Mason, of all people. Why, did, why would they believe him? For what? You know, he's not a credible source. So I feel like Ava ain't got nothing to worry about. If I was her, I would start bossing up on their asses quick, fast, and in a hurry. Um. So anyway, moving on from that, Drew is Drew is such a disappointment. He really is. Drew, mm. So this is his last night of freedom. And instead of having a sleepover with his daughter and spending all of his free time with his child before he got a report to Pittonville, you want to shack up with Carly? I am so disappointed in that. Like, just throw him away. He is such a trash father. Like, he really is. Like, that is some trashy shit. Like, sir, go be with your child. So, you rather get you some puss than go go spend time with your child that you may not see for a while? I hope the coochie is worth it. I really do. I hope her coochie is worth that. I hope it is. Carly must got that good good because all the boys keep going crazy over her. She must got that, that kryptonite in her drawers. I'm just saying. Cause good lord, um, I wonder what Mister um Cyrus is up to. This fool sitting up in there with a Bible. I'm like, sir, <laughs> you sitting up in there with a Bible. He waiting on Drew too. I wonder what he got cooked up. Cause he act like he all reformed and whatnot. I want to know, like, what you got up your sleeve, bro? Bro, what you got up your sleeve? What you up to? Cause you never know with Cyrus. You never know. Like, he might have seen the light, but, you know, it's always an agenda with him somewhere down the line. But I'm happy to see him, though. I always love when people go to Pentonville because you know Cyrus is going to pop up. And I love it. I love it. Um, so I can't wait to catch up and see what's going on with Mr. Renault. Um, so anyway, moving on from that. I will say, you know, that was a cute little scene what Violet tried to do for Liz and Finn. That was cute. But Finn need to get his daughter under control because... First of all, she ordering stuff from your phone. That's a big no-no. That's a hell to the no. Um, you don't know what charges that little girl could have racked up by now. Because <laughs> you know most people credit cards or debit cards are linked to their phone. So you could just easily press a button and order a bunch of shit. And boom, it's going to go through. See, that's why I don't let kids use my phone. Because absolutely not. Mm -mm. You ain't going to be up here ordering a gang of shit now. And then I got to sit here and pay $5,000 for this. No. Mm -mm. Um... I'm not feeling Finn and Liz as a couple. I, I just, every time I see them, I see them as friends. Like, I don't see no 
romance between them. I just don't. I just see them as good friends, like good buddies. You know what I'm saying? That's all I see. I just don't see no romantic chemistry. That's just me. That's just my opinion. I don't see no heat. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see no sparkle. Um, so, I, just, I, for me, I prefer if they remain good friends. Um, I get where Liz is coming from. You know, she's nervous still about being head nervous. And she wondering how Epiphany could have done this and stuff. Because Epiphany is Epiphany. Epiphany was a force of nature. You know what I'm saying? She got, I'm pretty sure Epiphany was nervous when she first became head nurse. But you know what? You can't let your nervousness show. You know what I'm saying? That's like being scared around a pit bull. Dogs detect your fear. And if they do, they're going to bite the shit out of you. <laughs> That's just how it is. So she can't have no fear. Like, I know Liz has this thing where she always thinks like, what would Epiphany do? Or how could Epiphany handle this? Liz has to start thinking for herself and start thinking, how should she go about it? You're the new head nurse. You know what I'm saying? Like, Epiphany wouldn't have recommended her if she didn't think she could do the job. You know, so she just needs to tap into that, take that nervousness away and just handle business. You know what I'm saying? She ain't got to have the same style as Epiphany, but just do it at your own pace and do it, you know, have your own style, your own unique style like Epiphany had. She had her own unique style and that's what Liz needed to do. Um, but I will give kudos to little uh, Violet for getting cupcakes and pizza because that do sound good. I'm just saying. Um, I don't need none of that, but that sound good. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much the whole episode. Hit the conversation. Let me know what you all thought and I'll see you all later. Peace.